Okay, we are going to talk about 50 Cent. Uh, this story is hilarious, but it's also simultaneously a little bit sad and depressing because it shows you just how greedy rich people are. So 50 Cent, he is worth an estimated $30 million. And he just made an endorsement entirely based on him keeping more of his cash. So um, the reason why he made an endorsement is because of Joe Biden's tax plan. Now, Joe Biden, as many of you know, is no progressive. But when you juxtapose his tax plan with Donald Trump's, Joe Biden's is much more progressive. Trump's is regressive. Any middle class tax cut that Donald Trump has included in his plan expires after 10 years. Whereas Joe Biden, I mean, this isn't the best tax rate ever. He's basically taxing anyone who makes more than $400,000 per year at a higher rate. I mean, that is more progressive, but it's not the most progressive tax plan because I would argue that if somebody makes more than 250000 even 100000 per year, they can afford a lot higher uh, of a tax rate. But I mean, 400000 that's perfectly reasonable. If you're going to raise taxes on anyone making that much money, that's fine. But 50 Cent apparently disagrees with that, and he tweeted out Joe Biden's tax plan and endorsed Donald Trump, saying, what the fuck? Vote for Trump. I'm out. Fuck New York. The Knicks never win anyway. I don't care that Trump doesn't like black people. Wow. 62% are you out of your fucking mind? Shut up! I don't care that Trump doesn't like black people. 62%. That is honestly astonishing to me. And it shows you how morally bankrupt rich people are. It shows you how money corrupts people at an individual level, like it doesn't just corrupt institutions. When we're talking about capitalism, we have to talk about the effect that it has on us psychologically as well, because this is this is destructive. You're telling all of your followers on Instagram and Twitter, hey, vote for the guy, even though he's racist, but I just care about keeping more of my money. So he might hurt you, he might hate black people, but hey, I want more money. 50 Cent, you have $30 million in net worth, you're gonna be okay. You're going to be fine. And I'm assuming that 50 Cent, like, doesn't even know the specifics about this. Like, we're talking about a marginal tax rate, which means that that 62% doesn't kick in until after you make $400,000 in one year. We're not talking about a wealth tax, which we should, where we just tax all of 50 Cent's 30 million wealth at 62%. Joe Biden is not saying, I'm going to take 62% of everything you own. That's not what we're talking about here. We're saying that every dollar that 50 cent makes per year after $400,000 will be taxed at 62%. That is incredibly reasonable. It's been higher before. It's been in the 90s before in the United States. But either he's too stupid or too selfish to acknowledge that. And so this led to him basically saying, listen, to all of my supporters, I know, I know this man is a racist and he doesn't like you. But I need this money. I need to make more money than I already have. I mean, you're never going to lose that money. Like, you, you have $30 million in net worth. You're going to have that for the rest of your life. How old are you? In your 40s, 50s? You're going to have that forever. But yet you're so greedy that even though you acknowledge how harmful Donald Trump is to black Americans, demonstrably, his policies hurt them. You care only about yourself. That is the definition of selfish and just, it's perverted. It's, it's disgusting, honestly. Now, it's funny because he made this, I guess you could call it an endorsement, not the most ringing endorsement, if we're going to call it that, uh, but conservatives are so desperate, they still prop this up. They propped up the guy who endorsed Trump, even though he said he knows Trump hates black people, but because he said vote for Donald Trump, conservatives still loved it. So in the responses, Tommy Loren replied saying, welcome to the Trump train. And she also said, amen. Uh, Candace Owens also shared her excitement. Isn't Candace Owens the person who said that we don't care what celebrities think? Dear celebrities, I'm sorry to be the one to have to break this to you, but we do not care, not in the slightest particle of an imaginary thing, what you think. Sure, Jan. But if a celebrity endorses a conservative or Donald Trump, all of a sudden she's like ecstatic. This is embarrassing. Why would you celebrate the endorsement 
when it's kind of an anti-endorsement. Like, he's admitting how selfish he is. He's only supporting Donald Trump because he wants more money. He wants to make more than he already has. And he's admitting, though, that black people, they're not better off under Donald Trump. But yet, people like Candace Owens, whose entire, like, goal is to basically do this Blexit thing where you convince black people that Trump isn't that bad and he actually loves them. I mean, it's just, it's astonishing to me. And, you know, they'll point to things like, oh, well, Trump increased funding for HBCUs. Okay, but what has Trump said about reparations? What is Donald Trump doing to fix healthcare disparities when it comes to uh, black Americans and people of color? Police brutality against black Americans. Donald Trump literally would not even admit in interviews, in town halls, that systemic racism is a thing. So, I mean, you can't possibly make the case that Trump is in favor of black people, doesn't hate black people. I think it's obvious that Trump is racist. But the people who have been trying to prove to everyone that Trump isn't racist are now propping up this pseudo-endorsement, even if he calls Trump racist, all because it's a celebrity that supports Donald Trump. I mean, these people are all stupid. I... <laughs> I don't know what else to say. 50 Cent is uh, a clown. He should be ashamed of himself for caring more about his own wealth than black Americans. Um, Tommy Loren and Candace Owens, you know, the fact that they're so desperate to get more celebrities to support Donald Trump that they'd even prop up an endorsement when the celebrity endorsing Donald Trump says he knows he doesn't like black people. I mean, this shows how stupid American politics has become. It's a joke. So, look, overall, 50 Cent should be um, ashamed of himself. Uh, let me just say, for the record, G-Unit sucks ass. Uh, Olivia's okay, though. And um, actually, Young Buck and Lloyd Banks aren't that bad either. 50 Cent sucks ass. And G-Unit sucks ass because it's a brand associated with him. But this dude is selfish. This dude is an imbecile. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to rich celebrities who only are looking out for themselves. Don't vote for Donald Trump. I, like, I think that his own supporters are going to know this because clearly, like, rooted in this endorsement is this assumption that, oh my God, I got to keep more money. I want to make more money. Dude, you already have millions of dollars. At one point, I think he was a hundred millionaire. Fuck off. Fuck all the way off. You're going to have millions of dollars until the day you die. Fuck off, you absolutely greedy tool. I mean, this is really making the case as to why we need to tax the rich even more because they are so greedy they're willing to throw their own community under a bus so they can have more money. It's just honestly appalling. It's disgusting. Oh <laughs>